Deal with spirit of deception, deceiving people. Deal with spirit of lying. Deal with spirit of fornication. Deal with the spirit of envy, jealousy, anger, hatred in your life. The government of your countries are your major problems. Do you know why? Because they allow Satan to use them against you. They allow the devil to use them against you, to frustrate you. Now, the major important part of the message is to reveal to you how effectively the devil has been using your governments against you. Your governments have secret meeting places where they discuss very important issues concerning the whole world on a yearly basis. Whereas, this their yearly world summit has nothing to benefit you as a citizen. Rather, they discuss how they can starve you to death. I want you to know that. They discuss how they can impoverish you to death. They discuss how they can enslave you to death. They discuss how they can deprive you good life. They discuss how they can take away your freedom. They discuss how they can monitor you. They discuss how they can intentionally hurt you and finally kill you. Now, in this message, by the special grace of God, I want to review to you what your government has done to you. It doesn't matter which country you belong. It could be from uh, Zambia, it could be from Kenya, it could be from, it could, it could come from Nigeria, it could come from America, it could come from uh, Singapore, it could come from uh, Canada, Russia. It doesn't matter. I am going to define government based on this topic. But before I do that, I want us to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you and I ask you to have your way. I ask you, Lord, to breathe on this message. There are many, oh Lord, that will come across this video. Their lives will not remain the same. This message, oh Lord, will touch them. You will give them revelations of the government of their country. So they no longer put their trust in their government or the jobs they are given by their government. Knowing that you are the best government and present so they can come to you totally. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This message might look strange to you, but I want you to connect your, connect your soul and your mind. Connect yourself to the realm of the spirit. I want you to see this message from the spiritual point of view. The reason is because of your soul. 
The Bible says that whomsoever is a friend of the world is an enemy of God. This message is coming to you so that you can come to Jesus and give your life totally to him. Because your government will not help you. Your government has never helped you and they can't help you now. By the way, what is government? Government refers to the group of people who has authority to govern a country or a state. Which means that any system by which a state or community is governed can be regarded as a government. Countries like Nigeria and some other African countries, they promise you free education. You end up paying through your nose to go through school. Countries like Nigeria and some other countries, they promise you good roads. In the end, they will not do the road. Your vehicles will end up breaking down almost every week for bad roads. Countries like Nigeria, they will promise you that there will be free power. Power mean electricity. But they will end up not giving you free electricity. They will even give you electricity, you pay for it, but you will not enjoy it. That means you pay more than you use the light. Whereas before they take over power, they promise you that there is going to be constant electricity. And country like Nigeria is a country that we have a lot of, you know, resources, mineral resources that are, that are yielding money to the country. Yet, we are paying for light and we are not using the light. We are paying for light. We are not enjoying the light. And the, the, main, the reason they put your, uh, the government to be your leader is because all these things I'm mentioning, they, they, they swore and oath that they are going to provide them. But the moment they take power, they will not do them. They promise you that the water, free water, they will not supply the free water. In whichever uses you need this water, in the areas of your life you need this water, whether to wash, to drink, to bathe, to do whatever, government will promise you in most African countries, they will not provide it. Nigeria is worse. Your government will promise you free and fair use of, you know, uh, um, some social amenities, like I mentioned. The, the popular ones I mentioned here is just water and light. There are many other social amenities in the countries that, that are needed that they promise they will not provide them. But this water and power, they are the major ones. And good roads, they are the major ones. Your government will promise you job opportunities. You will go to school, spend all the money, spend all the time leaning, hoping that when you come back, you are going to get a good job. But you'll be disappointed that you will end up being a jobless person for so many years. There's no job. These are some of the ways that your government is punishing you. They will promise you that there will be job, they will provide job opportunity, they will provide employment, they will, they will provide a field where you have studied. A lot of people in, in African countries, they go to school, they study law, some study uh, uh, medicine, some study uh, engineering, and when they come back, some, some read accountancy in school, but when they come back as graduates, you see an accountant, you selling tomatoes in the market. You see a bank, uh, a bank manager, someone who read that, you know, uh, I mean, someone who studied a, a law, who is supposed to work in law office, be working in the bank. As a, as a, maybe they'll just find some, some kind of work at the bank and give the person, not even a good work, someone who is supposed to be a lawyer, which is known as underemployment. The field that the person has, you know, studied, he will not get job in that field. She will not get job in that field. A lot of graduates in the country today, where there is government, functioning government, they are jobless. Some of them have turned into businessmen and women because there are no job opportunities in the country. A lot of jobless citizens 
after spending so much money and time and energy to study. This is coming from your government. Your government is one of your major problems. The rate of crimes, robbery, stealing, raping in the countries, in most African countries even, is happening or are happening because of your government. Because if your government has provided jobs for you, employment for you, made a way for you to have something you can do, then there will be no reason for someone to be robbing, carry gun and begin to go from one bank to another, from one street to another, killing people and robbing them. It is because the government of the country has failed in their area of operation. Your government know all the evils that happen to you and they can't help you because they know and they are the ones who say you out to the enemy. For instance now, go to places, some places in Nigeria like Lagos and some other states, you see what the government is doing to the people, to the masses. There are a lot of businessmen and women that have, they've cried back to the village because government sends some tax force to go and destroy their shops. These are people that they are struggling to survive. They carry their destiny at their own hands because the government cannot help you. And they struggled on their own to make ends meet, to succeed, to make life going. And someone who has paid for shop with a lot of money, paid for shops, and then they will come and demolish the shop with, without proper notice. Or even if government is giving the notice that, okay, this place, they want to use it to do some development. If they really care for the people as they promise, are they not supposed to provide another means for them to survive? Like maybe building a marketplace and then rent, rent it out. They can even rent it out before demolishing people's shop and spoiling their goods. And they are not going to compensate them for that. Nigeria government has done that over and over and over and over again. And they are still doing it. And if you happen to pass that same place, maybe after some years later, you will see that they have not done any development in that place. They have not done anything in that place. And then the people you spoil their goods, you destroy and demolish their shop and send them back to the village. They go back to square one. These are the people that you are governing. The people you promise good life. The people you promise that you are going to provide job opportunities for them. You send them back to the village and there is no compensation to them. These are some of the ways that your government has been frustrating your life. Making life so hellish for you. Your government allow the importations of generators and listers, whereas we have power in the country. A lot of African countries, we have a lot of social uh, 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 mineral resources, but the government of the country, they will not use these mineral resources to develop the country. The reason they are importing all these uh, power plants like generators and the rest of them is because they benefit from it. They benefit from it. Most of them, in fact, are the, are the direct dealers of all these generators. And then they will now sell it to the poor people who are still trying to survive, who they have not provided job opportunities for them. They see, sell, and eat off of them. And then they will, they, will, they will make sure that there will be no constant nepa because if there is constant nepa, people will not buy generators. These are strategies that your government is using to frustrate and deal with you, but you don't know because they want to enslave you forever. The reason is because they want to enslave you and make you remain poor for the rest of your life. Your government will promise you protection and they end up kidnapping you for rituals and human sacrifices, human trafficking. They end up kidnapping you and selling you to other nations of the world. And they make money off of you. 
you need to understand why your eyes must open. They arrest you and jail you for life, for pushing hard drugs. But they themselves push the drugs more because they are hypocrites. They will make laws that are going against certain rules in the country. They will be the first people to breach it. They are your government. A lot of people today, that they are jailed in the prison. Some of them have died there. Some of them for crimes they did not even commit. They are put in jail. And the government that put them in jail, that put those laws in place, they are guilty of such laws that they are jailing people and even killing many of them. They are guilty. And all these things, God is going to bring it to judgment. They call you lazy and criminals. We are us. They are the real hardened criminals who embezzle your money and impoverish you. Because I believe that many countries, they practice democracy. And what is democratic government? A democratic system of government is a government that is appointed by the people. The people selected few people that want, they want them to, be, uh, uh, to, to, you know, to govern them. Government of the people, by the people, and for the people. That's the democratic system of government. And this, this kind of system of government is a government that should benefit all the citizenry. The system that will benefit everybody. But they end up breaching it. So a democratic system of government is a government of say your mind. Everybody has a right to say what they want. Now, the reason the money belongs to you is because the, all the resources in the country, all the resources in the country belong to everyone. Is not owned by them. And then they embezzle this money out of other countries and they build hotels, they build restaurants, they build future for their own children, they develop other countries, whereas back at home they have done nothing. You see, they are hypocritical, they are the criminals who have stolen your money, who has robbed you, and they are calling you thief, lazy, and criminals. So they are the real hardened criminals because they are stealing from you your government have their secret places where they discuss how they can create pestilences that will kill humanity they will be somewhere watching to see how many lives have wasted you see there are things you don't know about your leaders because these are leaders, they have sold their souls to the devil and they are doing the devil's work. So they don't care whether you live or survive. They don't care what happens to you. They don't care whether you are eating or not. There is a lot of starvation in the countries of Africa. Hunger, lack of food, lack of a lot of things that make life easy. And the government in, the, in such countries, they know that what they are doing is not good but the reason they are doing it is because that is what the devil has appointed them to do so they don't care about you they only care to satisfy and please their master the devil if the death numbers people who are dying from the pestilences from hunger from a lot of evil in the country are not enough for them or they don't satisfy them they will provide a solution that can lead to more death because this is what they want to do. They don't care about your life. I want you to take, to take a look at this now. I want to tell you some major events that had happened in the history of the world that took millions of lives which were caused by your political leaders. When HIV AIDS came out, and then he started, he started walking and killing people from year 2005 to year 2012. That was when it curbed. And this HIV AIDS virus was created by somebody. And they don't just go ahead and create a virus. They meet at their places where they discuss what they want to achieve. Because Satan has appointed them that he wants only 500 million people to live on the face of the earth and then the rest should be wiped away 
So right from time immemorial, they have been killing and wiping people out of the face of the earth. And HIV is killed 36 million. It killed 36 million people. That was a virus on its own. If you follow me on this channel, I, I made a video whereby I, I showed you a clip where some of the white people were confessing how they created HIV AIDS and the government sponsored them to do it, to kill, up, kill off African people. So any viruses, any major viruses or pestilences that had killed people in the past and the ones that are killing people now, your governments are part of it. Because you cannot become a president or governor without selling your soul to the devil or submitting yourself to the devil. You have to submit, you have to sell your soul to him, and then you'll be taking order from him. What about Ebola? Ebola virus from 2014 to 2016. Ebola virus killed 11,300 lives. And these are the ones they recorded. The ones that they didn't record, you don't know. And again, there was a flu pandemic of 1968 that killed over a million people. All these viruses were created by people in your government is part of it. I want you, after this video, calculate the number of millions of people that had died from viruses and pestilences all over the world. The Asian flu of 1956 to 1958 killed 2 million people. The flu pandemic of 1918 killed 50 to 100 million people. Your governments are part of it. The sixth cholera pandemic of 1910 to 1911 killed 800,000 people. And these are viruses or pestilences that even Bible has told us about it. So the Bible prophecies that are happening before our eyes most of them are being fulfilled by your government and they are happening before your eyes the reason i'm bringing this message to you is so that you open your eyes and plan for escape because a time shall come that if you don't totally submit and do whatever your government asks you to do you won't be able to survive that society the flu pandemic of 19 of, of 1889 to 1890 killed one million lives. Each virus is that come out, they want a, number, a certain number of people to die. And gradually they are reducing the population of the world. They had another pandemic, they called it the third pandemic of 1852 to 1860. A million lives were lost. The Black Death pandemic of 1346 to 1353, known as bubonic pandemic or bubonic virus it took over 190 million lives we had that pandemic of viruses like swine flu pandemic and the rest of them that i cannot mention and then covid 19 was the latest one and now this covid is one they are using to enslave people mostly this one will remain they don't want you to leave what about the first world war the first world war that happened in July 9, in year 1914 to November 11, 1918, involving over 30 nations, killed beyond 40 million people. Because each time war happens, lives will be wasted. Each time there is viruses or pestilences, lives will be wasted. And then followed by Second World War, September 1, 1939 to September 2, 1945 involving over other 30 nations in this world and close to 100 million souls were wasted a lot of lives were lost this is what your governments know about there are many atrocities that different governments of the world are committing today that are known to some few people not everybody is aware of it Go to some countries like America, for instance. America is one of the most popular countries that they do human trafficking. In a year, if you calculate the number of children and teenagers that you know miss in America, they are close to 40 million. 
And the same way they are kidnapping people in America, they kidnap people in Nigeria, they kidnap people in London, they kidnap people in, 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 in Cameroon, they kidnap people in Canada, they kidnap people in Russia, they kidnap people all over the world and they transport them to one place. Because those, these our leaders, known as presidents and governors, they are Satanists and they do human sacrifices. Some of them are demons who are wearing human flesh and they need human blood to sustain themselves. They need human blood to be able to live among man. They need human blood to be able to do their bidding, the bidding of the devil, their master. So for them to, to, to continue to stay and assume human flesh, they drink human blood. I want you to go and do research of how many lives are missing or how many people are missing every year in each country. You'll be shocked what you are going to see. America has the highest number because that is the headquarter of the devil. That is the headquarter of the devil where they, 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 they do a lot of human sacrifices and child abuse. So the reason I'm telling you this is so that you understand the kind of government you have. They are, not, they are not here to help you. They are actually here to enslave you.